past Sri Lanka, probably one of the most beautiful places on earth. Just to the left of me, babbling brook across the way, fantastic forest, and just a casual mountain in the background. Sri Lanka is off the eastern coast of India and is known for its textile and agricultural industries. And within agriculture, it's known for producing coconut rubber and of course tea. And that's the reason why we're here today, to learn more about where our favorite breakfast tea comes from. So enjoy the journey with us. So in my hand are tea leaves that have been freshly plucked from the Camellia sinensis plant. Now, these leaves will then be, uh, I think the first process is withered, then they'll be rolled, then it'll be fermented. And then the final process is that these leaves will then be fired. And as the result is what you see in front of you over here. Now these particular uh, leaves, tea leaves, um, were produced this morning. And so the whole process takes about 20 to 24 hours. And this tea that's presented in front of us here right now, in about three weeks time will be available for auction. Where a whole lot of bidders from around the country and I think sometimes around the globe will come and bid for this tea for their brand and for their business. So a really interesting process from leaf to cup. had a tour of the factory and now we're about to enjoy a tea tasting. So yeah, watch the space. So we're here with Sivanesh and we're literally about to enjoy a tea tasting. What he's done is he has brewed the tea. He's timed for how long the brew has needed to take place and now he is pouring it into I guess purpose-built uh, tea tasting cups and thereafter we're going to taste the individual teas by taking one of these spoons and really just slurping the actual tea so you want to do that so you can uh, aerate the tea uh, in your mouth to get a really great sort of mouth feel of the tea so you can nose it you can look at it and you can obviously enjoy it and behind you over here really is a spittoon where should you don't want to should you not want to consume the tea you just spit it lightly into the spittoon so yeah there goes nothing so in terms of the tea tasting what we have are the different teas brewed over here and you can see which tea um, has in fact roots. So for example, the one that's closest to me is the larger leaf. And so we work towards the teas that are of a different grade. You can see that that's a finer grade and will have a different result. And in terms of tasting it, this is what you do. Take your spoon and slurp away. You know, it's crazy to think how this little leaf has become such an integral part of everyday life for cultures and people across the globe. And we hope by watching this film, you've learned a little bit more about how your favorite breakfast tea gets into your cup. Enjoy.